Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel for newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, a short but powerful update on the Bitcoin price charts. Yes, I have a trading tip. Yes, of course, a travel tip. Yes, of course, some live advice. And of course, talking about the news because something really important happened and you need to be aware of this issue. It's going to be a very interesting video from a pretty boring location. I'm not going to walk the beach. It's going to be my beautiful view here on the back, but it's going to be very cool information guys let's quickly jump into the first part of the video the charts Bam. the first chart for today guys is this beautiful weekly chart every candle is a week on this weekly chart you can beautifully see that we created that higher high over there we are running into that orange dotted line around 35,470 us dollar per bitcoin there's a little bit of resistance that we're facing but the moment we break that you know we can go all the way up to that 40k guys but that is at the moment resistance and of course that resistance is coming from the left on the chart as you can see there were a lot of candles hitting that dotted orange line guys now that's how you look at the zoomed out versions like for example the weekly chart on the weekly chart you can also see here on the bottom the MACD is really beautiful. The blue line crossed that red line. So yes, that means we are bullish at the moment. Uh, there will be a moment that we could go a little bit bearish again and we pull back in the price, but that is not yet happening uh, on the MACD. But if we look to the RSI, for example, then we can see that we are uh, topping out a little bit above that dotted 70 line, a very important line. Look, if we zoom out, we can see how important that our design line is because every time we come above that line then we will correct but you can also see on this chart that there is a lot of possibility to move a little bit higher uh, to the 80 level as well guys and then correct and that would be a little bit more in line with that macd part of the chart guys so that was the weekly chart for today let's jump into another amazing chart guys this chart is a very beautiful chart guys this chart um uh, i found on i think crypto crew universities his twitter beautiful chart is a 10-year trend line as you can see that yellow line so that is all the way from 2013 to now 2023 and you can see that 10-year trend line has been resistance or support now the thing that the chart shows me is that indeed this 2023 play is mimicking a little bit the 2016 play that was like 196 days in that sideways movement that's exactly what we had now again the 196 days in the sideways movement and we are breaking out of that sideways movement just like we did back then so there will be a moment we will go above that yellow trend line again and from that moment we will be in that huge bull run and probably but after that again come back to retest that line so beautiful job now then we have this chart i found it on twitter as well set fin uh, a three month chart so every candle is three months beautiful chart where you can see in the bottom as well that the rsi is bottomed out and getting bullish on that three month chart which means the next coming couple of three month candles which could be like if it is like one and a half year or two years uh, then that would mean there's only like seven candles or something like that and those seven candles could lead all the way up to that beautiful bull market top again beautiful very simplified chart the three month chart you can check it of course for yourself if you open trading view a bitcoin chart set it to three months and you can see it for yourself how beautiful our eyes is moving um, with this three month chart then we have this one a very important chart because for example on the 4th of november there were 705,000 new Bitcoin addresses created on the blockchain. 700,000 new addresses. That is what we call adoption. That's 700,000 new addresses in one day. And the Bitcoin price is only at 35K. This is now how you see that the adoption is growing tremendously. If we are creating 700,000 new addresses per day, then believe me, people are starting to believe in Bitcoin and they are starting to accumulate Bitcoin because they understand that we are now in that part of the cycle that they should be accumulating Bitcoin. People are not creating these addresses for fun or to just try to create an address. They are creating these addresses to top them up with Bitcoins. And they need to buy these Bitcoins in the market where nobody wants to sell the Bitcoins and nobody is putting new Bitcoins on the market as we will see a halving and then even less bitcoins will come to the market daily very interesting chart 
Then we have the MVRV per epoch chart. Yes, we can see that we are nearing the halving at block 210,000. Uh, we are very bullish with the MVRV score. If we compare this one to the previous cycles, we are a little bit more bullish than uh, epoch 2 and 3. Because look, that Y line is even popping above those two lines, the two blue, the blue and the red line. And if we continue that, we could even end above that blue line around the halving. And that would be very bullish. That would also mean that the Bitcoin price would be a little bit higher than we are at the moment, guys. Very interesting chart. Pause the video if you want to analyze it a little bit more. But the MVRV score is a very cool indicator to show us where we are at the moment uh, in the Bitcoin price cycle, guys. Then we have the last chart. This chart is also showing you again that yes, we are kind of copying the 2016 part of that cycle. On the left side, you can see 2016, where we were at that moment. And on the right side now, you can see where we are at this moment. And if we look at how the cycle is being built, the bottom, double bottom, and now then the upward movement that we are breaking out a little bit, this is really looking like this uh, 2016 move. And that means, yes, we could take it all the way up to 40K, and also crash down again with 30% from that moment, back to around 30K. So let's say if we go up to 40,000 US dollar per Bitcoin now, and we crash 30%, just like we did in 2016, we went up massively and then we crashed with 30%. If we go to 40K, 30% of 40K is 12K. So then we would crash back to 28K. So that could happen. That's why I've been saying every time again and again and again, yes, I believe that we don't go below 30K anymore with a full candle, but it could be a wick in the future. And that would be a beautiful buying opportunity. So always have your buy orders around 28K, 29K, 30K, 31K, because there could be a flash crash to those levels. Very beautiful chart. Pause the video if you want to analyze it a little bit more, because on the bottom you can see the halving year, the block height, the block reward, and you can see updates and everything. It's cool just to uh, analyze it a little bit more. I hope you really enjoy the charts, guys. Yes, I try to pop up every time these new charts so that you are educated to understand Bitcoin really to the core. You need to start to understand that four-year halving. It's not like that short-term volatility that you, you should be worrying about. You need to zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at that bigger picture. We are going to go into a massive bull run all the way up in 2025. In my honest opinion, it will be a bull run that looks like the bull run 2015, 16, 17. So that will not be a distribution top, like double top, like we last, last time saw, but it will be a huge blow off top. I think we are going to see that move that we saw in 2015, 16, 17 again. Because if you look at the charts that I just shared with you guys, you can clearly see that this part of the bull cycle is like copying almost the part of the bull cycle in 2015, 16 back then, guys. Now, I hope you enjoy the charts. Let's quickly jump into the trading tip. Trading tip for today, guys, is a very important one. You need to always consider all possible scenarios. So don't only think of that one scenario that you hope that the market will show you. There is multiple scenarios possible and you need to consider all of them. So yes, what is your take profit level? What is your stop loss level? If the Bitcoin price is moving towards your targets, uh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna increase your stop loss or are you gonna increase your take profit levels? If the Bitcoin price reverses really quickly, where is the limit that you let it reverse? Where is the limit that you cut your losses? Always be prepared to understand all possible scenarios when it comes to trading. Don't only focus on one scenario, focus on all of them. That will make you a better trader because at the end, if you consider all scenarios, you're playing a way safer game than just focusing on one scenario. That was a trading tip for today. The travel tip for today, guys, a very simple one and probably all of you know it, but I'm just gonna share it because I think it's very important. Always carry a rechargeable power bank, guys. It's very simple. A power bank can save you in those situations that you don't have any electricity, that you don't have any plug that fits the outlet. You know, these situations do happen when you travel. So always carry a rechargeable power bank. Most of those power banks can upload your iPhone like three times. There's even power banks that can upload your MacBook Pro. 
So I think it's a very handy tool that everyone can use wherever you travel in the world. And it's of course very important that you have that power bank with you because you can charge your iPhone to be able to watch our beautiful YouTube videos. That was the travel tip for today. The news for today, guys, is not that good news because there was a fake Ledger Live app uploaded in the Microsoft App Store, guys. So there was a lot of people that downloaded a fake Ledger Live app and because of doing that, they lost collectively now $588,000. I think the biggest transaction was $83,000. It was 38 transactions in total. So 38 people probably downloaded a fake Ledger Live app, topped it up with their Bitcoins, and then the hacker stole those Bitcoins, and the hacker is now $588,000 richer. So always be careful. If you buy a hardware wallet, a Ledger, or a Bitbox, go to their official website and use the link from that official website to download the software that you need to operate that hardware Ledger. Never go directly to the App Store or to the Play Store, any of these online stores. Always download the software from the official website that is creating that particular hardware ledger. Please be aware of this. This has now happened multiple times in the last decade, guys. Be always cautious. Also, if you want to install a new wallet on your iPhone, don't do it from one of these app stores. Go to the official website of that wallet, choose and click the link on that website, and that is the correct wallet that you need to install on your iPhone. Don't just go into the app store, ah, Bitcoin wallet, and pick the first one out there. That can be a scam wallet. You can lose your whole capital. Being your own bank also brings the responsibility to protect your own bank. So make sure you download the right bank before you send some Bitcoins to there. That was the news for today. And of course, because you love the special effects of me walking towards the camera in different ways, I'm gonna do that again for this video. It's boring as fuck today, guys. I'm on my own balcony, but yeah, give me some, um, please some credits because yeah, it was a really long day yesterday and there will be a second video today about the boat trip we did yesterday. So you get two videos today, like a family video and this uh, video. Um, so I'm not answering any uh, followers question, but I wanna give you this beautiful life lessons. And the life lesson for today is someday, it's not a day of the week. It's logic as that. Every time when you say to yourself, I will do that someday, 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 it's not a day of the week. Sunday, that's a day of the week. That was yesterday when we did the boat race. But someday is not a day of the week. So as long as you keep saying, I will do that someday, you're kind of saying, I'm never going to do that. Choose a day of the week to do the thing that you want to do. Don't say someday, do say Tuesday. I'm going to do that Wednesday. I'm going to do that next Saturday. I'm going to do that like the 31st of July. I'm going to do that like the 1st of April. Not someday. Pick a day or a date, something in the future that you really are determined to do that thing that you want to do. Don't keep pushing it away by just saying someday, someday. Someday you die. If you want to get some things done, then do them. Don't delay your decisions. Don't delay the fun. Don't delay the beautiful, adventurous things that you want to do in life. Pick a date. I'm going to do it on that day. That's how it works. Someday is not a day of the week. That was the life lesson for today, guys. And that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this short video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below. What do you think about the charts and about everything else? Sorry, I didn't answer to one of the questions, but yeah, I'm answering a lot of questions in the VIP Telegram group. So don't forget to become a VIP member of the Bitcoin family. You get a lot of advantages over there, guys. And yes, I know I still need to come back to you on the scammer that is now stealing our family tokens and I will come back to you he still didn't sign the contract so yes it becomes time that i start to expose who the person is now thank you for watching this video and hopefully see you tomorrow again from a beautiful beach or other location maybe a temple who knows to speak again about bitcoin blockchain and life thanks for watching and see you tomorrow bam